lots of pretty frocks. Must you glad me, woman? Off, I say, off with you! But now, to like a little kiss, dear, I'll be your girlfriend. You won't do better. Off, I say, to the devil with you! <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. Todd, but there's no need to fear the likes of her. She's only a half crazed beggar woman, and, well, London's full of them. I beg your indulgence, boy. My mind is far from easy. For in these once familiar streets, I feel the chill of ghostly shadows everywhere. Forgive me. Oh, there's nothing to forgive. Farewell, Anthony. Mr. Todd. What is it? I have honored my promise never to question you. And yet, during the many weeks of the voyage home, I've come to think of you as a friend. Well, if trouble lies ahead for you in London, if you need help, or money. No! There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and its morals aren't worth what a pig could spit, and the vermin of the world inhabit it, and it goes by the name of London. At the top of the hole sit the privileged few, making mock of the vermin in the lower zoo, turning beauty into filth and greed. I too have sailed the world and seen its wonders. For the cruelty of men is as wondrous as Peru. But there's no place like London. There was a barber and his wife, and she was beautiful. A foolish barber and his wife. She was his reason and his life, and she was beautiful, and she was virtuous, and he was.